So we have a visitor for this video. This is Alistair. Hello. He's teething terrible, so that's why his um, fist is always in his mouth at the moment. But today we're going to talk about what activities we get up to to keep him entertained at four months old. So before I get started, I just want to say, obviously, as a four month old, it gets stimulated very quick. Um, it doesn't take much. I don't need, to, I don't stimulate him all day. You know, just being in new environments and things is enough stimulation sometimes. So the activities I'm going to show you are in kind of like five, 10, 15 minute short bursts. I let him have a lot of independent play. He has a, um, a lot of obviously time just chilling out, watching his sister playing. He loves to do that. So the things I'm going to show you today seems like a lot, obviously, because he's concentrated, but this is something that would, I would do over kind of the whole day, the week, um, as and when I feel like he needs it. So one thing I'm really focusing on now that he's four months is visual tracking. This is something that you can do from the beginning. Visual tracking is obviously um, allowing him to kind of follow something with his eyes. Um, obviously from the beginning when he had no head control, I can kind of just see me very close to his face and things, that was enough. As he's got older and as he's, as he's gained head control, I do a lot of this in tummy time. It's a great way when he's on his tummy, um, for him to strengthen obviously his neck and um, be able to look kind of left and right and follow something a few toys that I love to use for this one of them which I use quite a lot is this this is just like a wooden um, follow along kind of I don't even know what this is what is it a caterpillar I don't know you can get these kind of everywhere I don't know where this is what this one's from um, but it's on a string and when he's look he's looking at it now when he's in tummy time I just kind of pull this along so you can kind of follow it with his head and it's a great visual toy especially because it's bright colors it makes a noise um and he loves this so what we do for visual tracking is we use brightly colored toys anything basically for visual tracking so we may use um like rattles which is obviously great for his shearing too um so anything bright that he can follow when he's in especially tummy time is what we use in order to stimulate his shearing as well um, I do the same kind of thing tracking, but obviously like audio tracking. So I do this with anything that makes a noise. So for example, this rattle now, look, he's looking straight to it, either side. Um, again, I will do this in tummy time. I do this a lot just to um, let him follow the noise. Um, you can do this with you kind of walking out of the room as well. That's another one I do to kind of show distance. Um, any kind of rattles, or um, you, you'll find that the majority of toys for this age make noise anyway, even... Even the larger toys like this, they make like crinkly sounds and things. So anything like this that he can hear, he tends to follow. <laughs> oh, like I said, we are still focusing on his head control. Um, he has had great head control from the start. Always, always put him in tummy time. Obviously, I've increased the tummy time since he's got older. But again, at four months old, it is still something we are doing. So I know, I know a lot of babies hate tummy time. He actually quite likes it. Um, but you can do tummy time in loads of different ways. We started off with this, which is like, just like a breastfeeding pillow. Um, sometimes I still use that, just so he can kind of gain strength on his hands now as he's learning to kind of creep. Um, you can also put them on your lap with um, one leg raised and do it that way. You can do it with them on your chest, lying down if they really hate it, so it's more of a game. Um, he doesn't mind it, so I, I am still practicing head control, so that, that is still a big activity that we do on a daily basis. Like I said, I'm focusing now when we do um, kind of tummy time and focusing on preparing him to creep. By creeping, I mean that he can kind of push up on his hands a little bit and kind of raise his chest off the ground. Um, he is getting good at it. There are some days where he's just like, absolutely no way um but it's just all about repetition with babies and obviously to help strengthen those muscles okay i've just moved him into his rock a minute because he's getting a little bit agitated sitting with me for so long so he's actually just staring at me as if to say who are you talking to um <laughs> Something that kind of goes hand in hand with the tracking is kind of sensory play with balls. Um, I picked these up um, online, which are great. I mean, you can get similar sets anywhere, but these are textured multi-ball set. Um, it came with six balls. This one definitely wasn't included. I don't know where that's come from. Um, but basically, they're all different balls with different textures on them, as you can see. So it's great, it's stimulating because obviously he's exploring new textures. My daughter Evelyn loves these as well. 
um, but also it helps with visual tracking because I can push them across the floor and he's following them. It's a lovely activity if you have two um, children around the same age or close in age, like like I said, Evelyn's only 18 months. Um, it's a great activity to do together. They can kind of push them. She pushes them towards him um, and I sit him on my lap. So yeah, I love these because obviously and um, the different textures on them. Obviously these can be used in the bath as well. So it's like another sensory experience. Another way we've explored sensory play recently um with textures is using these now these were ridiculously expensive for what they what they are i will link them below but you can kind of you can make your own i mean all you need is kind of different fabrics um just pieces of old clothing or um anything basically that you can cut up um so this these are kind of all different um textures different fabrics that have been sewn into kind of these squares um now this is actually for older children um because in here there's like two of each so it's all about kind of matching and picking the right one out of the bag and things so these are great for my daughter as well um but i love them for him because obviously because obviously i'm monitoring him using them i find them fine anyway but they've got all different kind of textures that he can explore and he really does like these and he enjoys he enjoys feeling the feel of them some obviously more than others which is great because he's just exploring um yeah so these were like i said these were crazy expensive for what they are i think they were like 20 quid um but you can do this with anything with any sort of of piece of material that you've got hanging around your house and you can just collect them all together and keep them all together and pull them out when you want to do sensory play in that way i also bought these online which is a very similar thing so these these are kind of coloured pieces of material. They came in a pack of like 10. Like I haven't even opened them. And again, these are great just for sensory touch, but also to play peekaboo. Um, it's a great way of kind of teaching them um, once they get a little bit older to like kind of separation anxiety and things because you show it, they can still see you. You're not using a kind of like a block of material. They come in all different colours, which is great for variety for them as well. I mean, you don't need as many that comes in this pack, but I, they always come in handy. And again, my daughter loves these. Another thing which we've loved doing um, with him kind of these past couple of weeks is sensory play through food. Um, he's at that age now like where he likes to touch things and explore things. And I have actually started weaning him. He is young. He is only four months, but I was advised by my healthcare professional because he's got terrible reflux. So although I'm not baby led weaning him yet, I'm still giving him poo rays. I like him to feel certain foods and things. So um, a great thing you can... A great way you can do this is kind of cook spaghetti you can do you can do any food really as long as you're monitoring them and they're not putting in their mouths he really likes oats like the feeling of oats on his hands which i've seen i don't know whether it's kind of because it because of like the feeling when it falls i don't know he just really likes it i also put kind of some herbs on it sometimes just so we can have like the sensory experience of the smell of it as well so i think i put basil on the spaghetti and you could see that you know you could see his eyes kind of like brightening up obviously when he's experiencing these experiencing these different smells another thing which i've loved to do from the beginning with him but he seems to be getting more joy out of it now is obviously music and musical play and dancing um so in the Tots Play class I attend online, um, at the beginning of the session there's always a couple of songs where we kind of do different movements which um, strengthen their muscles and officially or benefit them in some way. Um, I also like kind of just doing like silly dancing around the house with him. I like stretching him up in the air. He loves that just to, to a different beat. It's just getting him used to the kind of like rhythm and socialising through play. I've got a wide variety of musical instruments because of Evelyn anyway. Sometimes pull them out with him as well and let him kind of like have free reign of those um, just so he can experience different sounds. Rattle's a great one because usually they're, great, they're easy to hold as well. So sometimes when he's lying on his back, I will kind of like dangle a rattle over him and to see if he can grab it. So it's good for his motor skills um, and then kind of give it to him. So he realizes obviously that he's taking it from me and he can understand that he is making that noise then as well with the rattle. Also these past couple of weeks, um, he's at the age where we're starting to practice kind of sitting up. So not so much sitting up on his own, he's not quite there yet, but by kind of helping him with his hands to pull him up to kind of build those core muscles those core muscles up um and also i'm trying to kind of encourage him to roll now so i'm when he gets kind of halfway i'm kind of gently helping him aiding him over so he kind of knows where he's got to go and um, so we've been doing a lot of that these past couple of weeks 
Obviously, I want to talk about what we're doing for free play. So I think it's really important for children to have, for babies to have time to be able to kind of like kick around and just like freely play, play on their own. Um, the mat that I'm sitting on now, I will link below. This is from Ikea. This is the actual best mat I've ever bought and I have had a lot. Um, throughout Evelyn and obviously when Alistair was first born, I bought a lot of kind of like the, the typical play mats with the arches over. And I have got one upstairs and we do use it, although I way prefer this. And the reason is because this is so big and now because he's starting to get a little bit more mobile, it won't be long until he is actually rolling. Um, this is in the free space to do that without him kind of rolling into um, the arch or or just something attached to the mat. Um, also, the other thing that I love for free play is this. So when I do want him to kind of have a kick about and things, especially to strengthen his leg muscles at this age, I use this. This is from um, Ikea also. Um, and what's great about this is these come off so I can also use them for visual tracking if I want to it has these on the side which he absolutely loves I think this is his favourite part actually at the moment um, and they differ on both sides so it gives him kind of like variety um, they've also got them on the outside Evelyn actually likes this as well like I know obviously it's not it's more for his age but she likes to kind of come along and kind of try and pull these out put them in and things um, so this is great when I want him to have like a kick around on the floor or when I want him to like um just have some free play basically he likes to grab these um which is obviously great for kind of um teaching him how to grasp and his motor skills and things and i just think it's like a nice looking arch like you know some of them and i've had them in the past are kind of like very out there but this one is nice and wooden i just like the look of it and because it's not attached to the mat i can fold up the mat at the end of an evening and kind of put it away without having to like unhook the arch and take everything off and then i just slide this um, by the side of the sofa or kind of like in this area and it's just out of the way so lastly i just want to quickly talk about toys which i'm loving at the moment um i'm loving these now i don't know how to say is it a maze or a maze um, I've got the peacock one, but I think it's in the car because I can't find it. These have got like hooks at the top, so you can put them on the car seat, you can put them anywhere really. Um, and I love their toys because they are, are literally a sensory experience in one. They've got like the crinkly feet, um, they've got the rattle there, um, the crinkle on the skirt, obviously the bright colours. Um, this was Evelyn's, but he now uses it as well and he loves it. Um, this is another great one. This is Click Clock. I don't know what that is but the only thing i don't like about this is it's got nothing you can clip it onto this is just kind of like a ring which is annoying but again it's got the rat the rattles on the feet um it's got all the bright colors he reels for them to explore again another great one like i said my favorite is the le maze or le maze um peacock and that's got like a black and white one side and a colorful the other side obviously black and white is great for when they're much younger because that's what they can see this is another great one. Obviously, this is a teething blanket, um, but it's got the same kind of crinkly noises, the bright colours. This is by Newbie or Nubby. I don't know how you say that. Um, but yeah, this is great for when they're teething as well. I found that like any other teethers weren't working because he just can't he just can't grab that well yet. Um, but this one is great, and again, it's like a nice play toy for him to have. And when he's in the pram and things, it keeps him occupied. And the last thing I want to talk about are books. Um, I'm not going to show you the, the variety of books I've got because I literally have so many, hundreds I'm sure, from Evelyn and I usually just pick a book from Evelyn's collection which I'll actually store in his room anyway um, and just read to him. I'm not, I'm not in a routine of reading to him like I am with Evelyn, like she's read to constantly and she loves books but obviously she's a lot older but i do like to kind of include him when i can in when i'm reading to her um, and he does love it but one book which i absolutely love and again i have this with evelyn too which i would recommend picking up is this one this is baby touch first focus and it's just called faces um i know that they do a different um they do a couple of different ones but this is great because it's yellow black and white so it's basically the colors that they can see um very early on um, so this was great from when he was born and it's just got a kind of big bold pictures in it and then at the end it's got a mirror I won't blind you but that it is um, so this is a great book if you're looking for like a, a book to start off with I found this really helpful and he still does enjoy this now they are the activities that we've been enjoying um, this month as well as kind of the toys that he's enjoying I think I'm going to do an update like every couple of months to kind of show you what we are doing and what we're exploring um if you have any ideas please pass them on to me i love anything like this any new ideas that i can do with him just to keep him entertained and stimulated are great so please let me know thank you for watching please click subscribe down below and like if you can comment if you can also and i will see you in my next video bye